Hayes Dominion Disc Brake Installation Procedure. It is typical to install the rear brake for use with the right hand. Check with your rider to confirm their preference. Depending on the bike frame, the rear brake hose will be routed internally or externally. To route the hose internally and through some external bosses, you will need to disconnect it from the master cylinder first. This procedure, along with hose trimming, is covered in our hose trimming video. Brake bleeding is covered in our Dominion brake bleeding video. Hayes Dominion brake systems use DOT 5.1 fluid. All spilled fluid should be cleaned up with isopropyl alcohol. The brake rotors should only be cleaned with isopropyl alcohol, not disc brake cleaner. During the installation, be sure to keep your hands and fingers from getting caught in the rotor. Failure to do so could result in injury. Assemble these tools and PPE and let's get started. With the bike in the repair stand, make sure any existing brake hardware has been completely removed. We'll start with mounting the rotors to the wheels. Clean the rotor and hub mounting surfaces with isopropyl alcohol. Identify the front and rear rotors. Typically the larger of the two is installed on the front wheel. Place the rotor on the hub. The arrow on the rotor must point in the direction of forward wheel rotation. With a T25 Torx driver, install, tighten, and torque the rotor screws to 50 inch pounds, plus or minus five inch pounds. Follow a star pattern sequence when tightening and torquing the screws. The wheels are ready. Carefully set them aside and prepare to mount the calipers and master cylinders. Starting with the rear brake caliper, confirm you have the proper mounting interface for this caliper and rotor. Post mount and IS mount adapter brackets are available from Hayes. With the caliper in your hand, back both crosshair alignment screws out of the mount slots in the caliper feet using a two millimeter hex wrench. Don't completely remove the screws. Place the caliper onto the mounting surface so the brake hose leads to the front of the bike. Thread the five millimeter mount bolts with washers into the mount, leaving the caliper loose. If you have internal cable routing or external routing with enclosed bosses, you will need to separate the master cylinder from the brake hose at this time. Now, route the brake hose to the front of the bike. Carefully follow the routing bosses. Make sure to leave appropriate hose length for suspension and handlebar movement. Continuing with the rear brake, remove the two mounting bolts and clamp from the master cylinder assembly using a four millimeter hex wrench. Position the rear master cylinder in the desired location. Place the handlebar clamp onto the master cylinder with the arrows on the clamp pointing up. Thread the clamp bolts into the master cylinder. Do not tighten them yet. Once you have set the master cylinder in the final desired position on the handlebars, tighten the top mount bolt so the clamp touches the master cylinder body. Torque this bolt to 30 inch pounds, plus or minus five inch pounds. Next, tighten down the lower bolt to the same torque specification. Now that the master cylinder and caliper are installed, we can tune the caliper position. Install the wheel. Roughly center the caliper over the rotor. Snug the caliper mount bolts and squeeze the brake lever a minimum of five times to seat the caliper pistons. Loosen the caliper mount bolts slightly. Using light pressure with your hand, adjust the caliper so the outer pad is contacting the rotor. Using a five millimeter hex wrench, Lightly tighten the mount bolts while keeping the outer pad against the rotor. Using a two millimeter hex wrench, turn the crosshair alignment adjuster screws clockwise until they contact the mount bolts. 
Now, turn each alignment screw one quarter turn clockwise and rotate the wheel. Listen for pad drag. Repeat this process until the pads are clear of the rotor. The last step in mounting and tuning the caliper position is to torque the mount bolts. Start with the mount bolt on the far end of the caliper, opposite the hose. Then, torque the mount bolt closest to the hose to the same spec. Torquing them in this order helps to ensure proper retention of the caliper alignment. To adjust lever reach, use the dial to turn the lever reach adjustment screw. Turning it in the minus direction will move the lever closer to the handlebar. Turning it in the plus direction will move the lever away from the handlebar. Be careful not to force the screw beyond its limits. Adjust the amount of pad contact stroke by turning the adjuster screw in the plus direction to add stroke or in the minus direction to reduce stroke. This can be useful when tuning both levers to have the same amount of stroke. The levers come from the factory in the full minus direction. Using the external adjuster does not affect the factory tuned setting. Return stroke to the factory baseline by setting the adjuster to the full minus position. You may need to adjust the reach setting after making adjustments to the stroke setting. Installing the front brake follows the same steps, except that you won't have any internally routed brake hose. Follow the fork manufacturer's recommended routing guidelines and ensure the hose routing allows for safe handlebar rotation and suspension travel. You have completed the Hayes Dominion installation procedure. Please continue to our YouTube channel and HayesBicycle.com for more maintenance procedures and assembly instructions. Thank you for riding with Hayes.